Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. So today I'm going to be trying out a new technique, for me anyways. It's called a ghost pour and I'm going to be trying it in resin. If you don't know what a ghost pour is or is supposed to be, it's like a voice um, transmission or like a heartbeat, what it looks like on a monitor. Now I realized when I started doing my swipes that I was kind of squiggling my swipes and you shouldn't do that, your swipes should be straight. So I don't think mine looks exactly how I imagined it, but I still love the effect. And one of the reasons that I am so in love with this piece is that I tried out something new um, in my resin. I only put it in this black base coat. So this is a black acrylic paint just from the Blick store. And then I added a little bit of treadmill oil, like three drops of treadmill oil into this black paint. Um, I feel like it made it a little bubbly. I had to torch it a lot more. There were like always bubbles in it, but eventually I did get all the bubbles out. So that was the only thing I noticed that was um, not good about it. I just decided to try it because I know you can use linseed oil and I was like, why can't I use a different type of oil? So I used a ton of colors on this piece. I'm going to insert a picture every time I pour a color just because there's so many and I didn't have enough time between because you want your resin to be nice and hot to do the swipes. So I didn't have time in between my swipes to show you guys each little painting on the video. So I will insert pictures. This is a Windsor Crimson paint. And then the second pink here that I'm using is Jellyfish by Fox Rizzle. The third color that's more of like a peachy color, that is Pink Pearl by Black Diamond. And then you guys probably, if you've watched my videos, you guys all recognize the Periwinkle from Fox Rizzle. I love this Periwinkle color and it looks so beautiful in the swipes. So I have the periwinkle, and then I did just a alcohol ink white. I don't know, I just thought like I have, I've got paints, I've got micas, um, let's add an ink in there. So I did the white as an ink. And I just saw in a lot of the acrylic swipes that they always put like a white line to help. I don't know if you need that. I kind of like it because it kind of gives it like a center point. I did all these lines squiggly and then I did the white alcohol ink straight. So I like that idea. Um, I might try it again without any white. And then what all I did was I used my torch and I just added a lot of heat and I used freezer paper cut into different sizes. That was something I noticed when I was watching and learning about this technique is you do your swipes straight. That's where I messed up, I squiggled. And then also you do different, you do the papers different sizes and then you also do the swipes different sizes. So you have some short ones, you have some long ones. If you've ever seen like a heartbeat or a voice transmission, then you kind of know the look you're going for. Sorry, I forgot to add in that I also used this silver. I forgot about that. It is a pinata alcohol ink silver as well. So I've got micas, I've got paints, and I've got inks. And I thought that that would look really cool, all the different depths coming together. And then, like I said, I used my freezer paper, cut into tons of different shapes for my swipes. And I just like to heat up the area before I swipe. That way I know that I'm not going to get like messed up swipes because you want your swipes to be nice and smooth. You don't want to have to go over them a couple times. So I always heat that up. And then I um, added some heat after I swiped as well to kind of generate the cells in this oil. And I have to say, you guys, it worked amazingly I was a little bit worried about how it was going to cure but it cured just fine in it cured in the same amount of time that it would have without I'm using Fox Rizzle UV resin here so I mean it cured within um, within 24 hours it was perfectly fine to you know touch and hang up and take pictures of so at the end there is a um, video clip so you can see some close-ups and I also have some great pictures of the close-ups. Let me know what you guys think of this piece because I am in love with it. I think it turned out so amazing. I think this is one of my new favorite techniques and I love it. So let me know what you guys think and as always I appreciate your guys' support so so much. 
If you have any questions about this technique or about my materials, you can ask me in the comments below. And also, I always have all of my materials listed in the description. And if I can find links to those products, I will put those with the products so you can go straight to it and buy it or check it out if that's something that you're interested in. And if you guys want to see more up close pictures and just see what I'm doing ahead of time for my videos, you can follow me on Instagram, WanderingR816, or on Facebook. Those will also be linked in the description below. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more artwork. And if you have been watching my last videos and I told you guys that I really want to try some new techniques for 2020, um, I'm going to be getting some new stuff for my videos like lighting and a camera and I'll be starting my Etsy store at the beginning of the year. So if you guys have any videos that you would love to see or any techniques that you would like to see in resin or just techniques that resin are used for, let me know and I will be happy to try them out. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you all later. Bye. So as you guys can see, the treadmill oil worked really well because there's no way I would have gotten cells like this if I had just swiped over the Blick acrylic paint. And you can see how beautifully all the colors just came together. My first try when I did this, I only used like, um, I faced my fear of red and blue and then I added a little gold and it just wasn't enough. So this was my second attempt and you guys can see the depth of all these colors melding together. They're so pretty. I can't even tell, some of the colors I can tell, like here is the jellyfish and the um, black diamond coming together. There's some periwinkle in there. At the top, it's really pretty because you can see the black diamond kind of really mixing with the white up here to create some really cool cells. And then the periwinkle on the other side. I think these colors just all came together amazingly. I love the cells. I love the way that it looks. And I would also love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think. And if you've ever used any type of oils in your paints to get like some really cool techniques, let me know. Also threw in one of my new paintings here. It's not finished, but I wanted to show you all. It's called The Tip of Two Galaxies. Thank you all for watching. Bye.